It's about having courage. It's about accountability. It's about building a business where you're not going to. I'm not talking about hire and fire. I'm, I'm quite the reverse, actually. I'm talking about investing more time in people who you believe can make it, and it's worth it. It's a company where it can still be a company where we value the individual. It can still be a company where, where people can laugh and joke and, and, and where, where it's a relaxed environment. But it's like being on a top football team. Right? It can be great team spirit. It can be a team everyone wants to be on. But man, you've got to play your part. Otherwise, you can't be on the team. I'm full of sporting analogies. I haven't gone there today, but I am full of them. Um, and and there, there is some relevance in that. And this is where it ends up, up or out. So you, you've got to build. You can have, you know, you can have the 90-day plan and other things. That, they all come. It's all about clarity around expectations and delivery on those expect, expectations. And a lot of people are scared to do it because people have said to me, "But if I do that and it doesn't work out, well, I'm going to lose this person." Well, yes, that is the desired outcome. Well, the desired outcome first is they succeed, but number two, out, and you've got to hire somebody better. You can't carry serial underperformers. And most recruitment companies do. In relation to new people joining the business, a um, couple of comments I'd make about that. Um, I had a conversation with one of my managers recently, which was, it wasn't recent, because I haven't had a manager for 18 months, but it seems recent, where I said to him, um, this person's not working out. Look at their numbers. And, and, and the conversation ended up, you know, should they stay in the company? And he said, I can't fire her. It wouldn't be fair. And I said, why? He said, I haven't trained her yet. And I said, but she's here nine months. He said, yeah, I just haven't got around to it. I haven't really invested in her yet. And, you know, we sat back and we examined that statement together. And I said, you know, mate, seriously. The training comes at the beginning. Really, you've got to get your people, if they're going to fail, you've got to get them to fail fast. I know that sounds crazy, doesn't it? But it's true. Get them to succeed or fail fast. Failing slowly is what sends you bust. It's also a painful process for everybody. So if, you go, if you've made the decision to hire someone, invest in them hard at the beginning. Give them training. Give them coaching. Take them on visits. Set them goals. Make them do role plays. Really push that person to show their true colors. Are they going to succeed or are they going to fail? I'm not talking about bullying, or in a, obviously, or inappropriately putting too much pressure on people. I'm talking about being supportive. But put the investment into that person early. And by the way, you really need to know whether these people are getting it. So once you've trained somebody, you've coached them, you've got to do the reversal thing, which I hope you do in your company. Where, um, now If you want the biggest shock of your life, let me tell you how to get the biggest shock of your life. Go out on a client visit with one of your best, most experienced, longest serving consultants and let them run the visit and you shut up like a wallflower and you get a shock. Half these people are not nearly as good as you think they are. Do that with an interview as well. And so what I'm saying to you is with new people, flip the tables, you teach them how to interview, and then they do an interview with you sitting in, not saying anything. Give them feedback. Go on client visits, they run the client visit. Yes, it gets the heart beating. Yes, it, 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 it's, it's quite stressful for the person. But that's okay, because you're there to support them, and you need to know if they're going to make it. In, what I'm saying is invest a lot in the first three to six months. Get them to succeed and be happy that they're going to succeed, or, 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 or have early signals that they're not going to make it. Hopefully they do. I mean, I'm not talking about hire and fire, but as I said before, it's when they've been there 6, 12, 18 months and they still can't do the job, uh, they're still not delivering, multiply that by three or four people in your company uh, and you've got a problem. It's extremely demotivating for your high performers to see long, long-term um, tolerance of underperformance in the business. It affects your credibility and their morale more than you can imagine.